Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Arcade Block. Again, you can tell I'm getting kind of tired of gently, carefully peeling off the label so the box looks nice, so I'm just kind of ripping it off nowadays. Um, yeah, I, I really wish it was an easier way to deal with that, honestly, but I can't figure out a way to do that without it just falling off in shipping. Hmm, whatever, let's... Get to opening the box. I know, I'm a little late opening this box. Is what, the, the 12th, I think? No, it's the 11th, and I got this on the 7th. So I'm a couple of days late. Uh, I've been busy doing other things, mostly working on the uh, stereoscopic display, which I'm going to have to go into detail later in a different episode because that is surprisingly interesting stuff. Hmm. Yeah, so, all right, box open. All right. Ah, we got a lot of stuff in here, a lot of interesting stuff. Okay, so, I don't know, let's start here. Okay, we got, oh, it's a Pokemon hat. It's one of those, uh, what are they, no, I was going to say beanie hats, but it's not a beanie hat. Um, yeah, it's a Pokemon hat. It's a winter hat, but uh, there seems to be a small problem with its design, though, because when you wear the hat, you're supposed to pull it down over your head and then fold up the side so it looks like that. It kind of defeats the purpose of having the Pokemon logo there. What the hell? Um, that's a little silly. Unless you're supposed to, you're supposed to pull it down so the thing is right between your eyes. Or I guess maybe you're supposed to have this top flop loose on top of your head. I, I, I have no idea. I am very confused. Somebody in the comment section enlighten me. This is a weird-ass design, in my opinion. Huh. Moving along. Let's just do with a shirt now. We have Street Fighter V. Very detailed and very heavy shirt. Why is this shirt so damn heavy? It doesn't look that much different, but it is a heavy shirt, but it is also heavily detailed. That's kind of impressive, actually. That's really nice. I mean, I'm not a Street Fighter fan, never have been. But, uh, yeah, that's really nice. I've always been a Mortal Kombat fan over Street Fighter. Or maybe Tekken, but I wasn't too thrilled with Tekken. No, Kitty, you're not allowed to join the fun. Not right now. All right, next we have a tiny box. It is a Puzzle Cube exclusive item. Alrighty. Puzzle cube. Come on. Apparently the puzzle is opening the box. Mm, there we go. Oh. It's a Rubik's Cube. I hate Rubik's Cubes. I really do. They annoy the hell out of me. But it's a nice gaming... Uh, well, specifically Mario... Uh, themed. That's the word I was looking for. Themed Rubik's Cube. And it feels like a general, you know, one of those cheap-ass Rubik's Cubes you buy in the store that will get stuck after you play with it for a little while. Um, kitty, no, you're not allowed to be in the video. <laughs> I'm down. Okay. That's what I get for recording with uh, my door open. Uh, but they actually are far more annoying if I close my door. Hmm. Anyways, alright, so, yeah. Um, Rubik's Cube. Uh, nope. Next is the uh, Mortal Kombat 10 Scorpion Bobblehead. I'm sorry. What? Okay. Okay. I'm I'm going to be be honest here. I'm a little insulted by this, honestly. Scorpion is my favorite character of the game. And I don't have my knife, so I can't open the box. Hang on. Knife. All right. So, yeah. Scorpion is my favorite character of the game. And to make it a silly-looking bobblehead... Uh, I don't know. Insult... I, I do feel a little insulted by it. I know insulted shouldn't be what I feel. But I do feel a little insulted by it. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. That's just 
annoying, I guess. And it's just the bobbly head that's pissing me off. Come here, come here, there we go. Put this thing together. In the holes, in the holes. Okay, so it comes with a really nice stand. I mean, it feels like really cheap plastic, but it's a stand, who cares? The model, however, the bobblehead, looks absolutely amazing, except for the fact that it's a bobbly head. I mean, it's well painted, he's bloody, it's detailed, it's creepy as fuck, it's scorpion. Except he's a fucking bobbly head. That's stupid. See, he doesn't like it either. No, 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 this is not how I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be terrifying, not silly. All right. Moving along. We we have Oh wow, this thing is heavy. What are you? You look like something from Aperture Science. You are something from Aperture Sciences. Uh accidents hurt. You will be hurt. Coworkers don't endanger others. The company replacements are costly and science investigations impede progress. <laughs> Safety first. I like this. Okay, this I like. This is very nice. It's metal. It's thin metal, but it's metal. I like this. Okay, this one I like. This one needs to be hung up somewhere of importance. In the museum. This thing needs to be hung up in the museum. Because, like, one of those, like, uh, it needs to be put up in a place, too. I need to find the right place. Where it actually looks like it's a legitimate safety sign. Like, one of the, a place where you would put up a safety sign to, you know, warn people, hey, be careful, you know, this many days since the last accident, or however, or whatever. Yeah, okay, that needs to be a thing. Okay, I like that. Whee! All right. So, get the garbage out of the way. What else? Oh, there's other things in the box. A bag that I threw back in the box. Eh, not much else. We got, uh... Hang on, advertisement first. Come on, get out of the bottom of the box. There we go. All right, so also look for some items from The Legend of Zelda, Bit Trip, and more. Oh, okay. February's arcade block is going fast. That's because it's got Sonic the Hedgehog. Also look for stuff from Legend of Zelda. Okay. So next month, this month's, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog and Legend of Zelda. All right. And then we got Street Fighter t-shirt. We knew that. Trainer Beanie. Does it actually say anything? Uh, no, nothing about the weird-ass design. Portal Safety First sign. Oh, Safety First Tin sign. Okay. Morph, morph, exclusive Morph Ball Stress Reliever. Um, maybe that's why the shirt's so damn heavy? No. Bullshit! Hang on, let's read the thing before I get pissy. Fighting space pirates and destroying Metroids can be a stressful occupation, even for the galaxy's most renowned bounty hunter. When the troubles of your day start to get to you, give this a squeeze or just roll it across the floor and feel your troubles melt away. Am I not, am I supposed to get this or that? Or am I supposed to get both? Because I don't have the stress ball. Is it in the Rubik's Cube? Should I smash this thing open? Hmm, all right. And then the Puzzle Cube. Yeah. Uh, exclusive Mortal Kombat Bobbly Head. All right, so Arcade Block exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. So, okay, I'm missing a uh, stress ball. Hmm. Well, that's annoying as shit, actually. That's really annoying. All right, so the time has come where we do the traditional, what I don't like, goes back in the box. A shirt fell off while I was looking for the, the thing. Okay, so the shirt. Yeah, I'm not a Street Fighter fan at all. But you know what? I like the shirt. It's actually a really nice shirt, so it's staying out. The tin sign is staying out. The Rubik's Cube. Huh. 
I don't care for it. I'll tell you that much right now. It's a Rubik's Cube. I don't care about Rubik's Cubes. I don't like them. Um, it's also fairly... It's definitely one of the cheap ones. It's not... You know, there's no heft to it like the real ones. Uh, well, I guess that makes sense considering it's not a Rubik's Cube. It's a puzzle box. Yeah. Uh, if I was going to do anything with it, it would be give it to others. But... No. Back in the box because everybody has a Rubik's Cube. So the Pokemon hat. Well, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you where it's going. It's going in the box because I don't wear hats. I have earmuffs. That's really all I deal with. Hats don't work for me, so I don't wear hats. <sighs> now, what do I do with bobbly headed scorpion? Hmm. I mean, it's really nice, really well made, I have to admit. I mean, if you're into the bobbly head thing, this would be a really nice thing. I'm just not happy that it's a bobbly head of Scorpion. I mean, like I said, it's very well made, it's very nice. I'm just a little pissy, I guess. And it's way the hell too high off his shoulders. I guess to avoid the whole uh, Stormtrooper rattle issue, it doesn't... It, doesn't rattle. <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know. I'll keep it out, because like I said, it's very, very nice. And it's only really mildly annoying. And then, of course, the stress ball, which doesn't exist. Uh, that would have been a really nice thing. I would have liked that a lot, but it's not here, so that's a little disappointing. I'll have to see what I can do about getting a hold of a uh, nerd block and seeing what they say. All right, so that was Arcade Block for January 2016. Missing a product is not a good start for a new year. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.